What's up, carpoolers? Welcome to the latest edition of Riding Shotgun with Corduroy Paco. Hmm. Let's give this young man a lift. Oh my goodness, Matt Santoro, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, people of the internets? Right before you picked me up, there was a homeless man right there. And he was telling me crazy, crazy stories, things that just didn't make sense. Oh, really? Yeah, I was kind of scared of him. That's why I'm extra glad you picked me up. <laughs> so how you been, man? I'm good, brother. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I like this car, by the way. Thank you. It's a good uh, mobile vlogging unit, as yeah. they say. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying to make them. A lot of dashboard, though. Yes. Compared to the 99 Mystique. So how did you get into YouTube? What was your start? Um, well, actually, I, I started... I didn't really realize how big YouTube was, the world of YouTube, until I started watching guys like Ray William Johnson, and I'm like, there's a whole world out here of people, like subscribers and all this stuff. So I started watching Ray William Johnson, um, uh, Dan Brown, you know, like Pogo Bat, uh, Wheezy Waiter. I know you're a Wheezy Waiter yes. fan. After I started, you know, watching them, subscribing them, I'm like, I could do this. So I did. <laughs> nice. And that was, that, that's my story, really. Did you have any like acting before that or were you Nothing. into that or you just... No, no. I've kind of been a goofball my whole life and I always was a goofball in school and stuff like that. that and then, but I never really did anything with it and you know, I, I've always kind of been, believe it or not, kind of a conservative guy. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take the safe route and go to school. But that just never really did it for me. Uh, and now I'm... Now I'm I'm out of the business world and into the acting world. Yeah. So did people who knew you from before, are some of them surprised? Like, whoa, man, do you see Santoro's like on the internet being crazy? Yeah, sometimes my friends would say, you know, oh, I, I saw that video and like, sometimes I'll see on Facebook, they'd like share my video to another friend's wall and I'm like, wow, my friends actually watch my videos. <laughs> but they would never like call me and be like, wow, I saw your video. They would just sort of watch it and just share it, it and just acknowledge it, yeah. Man, I have no idea where we are. I'll be honest. I don't know where we are either. No, that's But good. we're together. <laughs> that's that's all that matters. That is all that matters. So how long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for two and a half years. I actually made my Matthew Santoro channel. I actually think it was, I even know the day, just because I'm good like that. <laughs> February 10th, 2010. And I started making videos a few months later. And that was because I made the channel because I wanted to reserve my username. But then I was like, wow, I have no idea how to edit videos. And I downloaded uh, a video editing program called Sony Vegas. And I did my research beforehand. I figured out which program to use um, because there's a lot of them out there. And I just decided to use this one and I'm completely self-taught. And everything I learned was off of YouTube, ironically. When you were a kid, what did you think you'd be doing at 27? I had no idea, man. You know what, I when I was in high school, I like, see this is the thing when you're in high school you're supposed to take the courses to get you ready for university and to take the courses in university or college whatever you want to take when I was in high school I didn't know what I wanted to do and like I said I just figured out two months ago what I wanted to do I went to school for accounting for five and a half years and I just dropped that to, to pursue an acting career so yeah. when I, I definitely didn't know what I wanted to do as a kid I certainly never thought I wanted to be an actor what would the younger you think of you now do you think doing this Ooh, that's a heavy question. What would the younger me think? I don't know. I, 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 think, I think the younger me would like the older me because I kind of went from, you know, immature kid to like into the business world and then back to somewhere in the middle. So I'm closer to me, the younger me now than I've ever been. Should I turn here or anything? Left. Nice. So give me your life story in five words. <laughs> in five words? Phew. All right. Always doing something incredible. Awesome. <laughs> nice. That's all I've got. You put me on the spot, Paco. Right. Do, you, uh, do you swear in your vlogs? I do I, and I, I don't. I can't recall if you ever swore. I used to, and then I started bleeping it when I did, and now a couple times I didn't bleep it, so I'm yeah, just... Stupid. I'm kind of in the same spot, like I said before. I'm sort of... I was bleeping it, now I'm not, and mm. I might bleep some, I'm not really sure what I mean. At first I was like, okay, so I, I better keep this clean in order to get sponsors and that kind of thing. But I was like, well, I look at the shows I like and they don't. Like Always Sunny, Workaholics, Louie, it's just kind of like, well, that's what I like. And I want to have the fans of those shows like my shows. Right. So why don't I just hit, like, you know, fuck sponsorship. I want it, but I, I shouldn't let that, 
I shouldn't let no sponsors tell me how to do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because if you're already making that decision, you're letting these imaginary sponsors tell you not to do stuff. It's like, well, let's jump off that bridge when we get to it. Exactly. I think I went the wrong way on Lake. (laughs) Yep. I disagree with worrying about sponsors and things like that. Truthfully, I think it's the wrong way to approach it, even if you have a million subscribers, a hundred subscribers or a million subscribers, never let money dictate the content you make. My rule is I I only make things that I would want to watch. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and whatever that is, is what's going up. And if they're swearing in it, then they're swearing in it. And if I want to bleep it, I might, but that's secondary. I never think about the money. And, and that's the thing, you just, you gotta just put stuff out there. And that would be my piece of advice for anyone, you know, who is thinking of starting on YouTube. Just put stuff out there. When I look back at my first couple videos, they were so, bad like the editing was terrible and I, but to me I was like wow this is so good like the jump cuts were terrible like there was too long of pauses and stuff but you know looking looking back it's like wow I, I've really really grown I think if you, you suck you make things and you look back on the first stuff you make and you still think it's awesome then you're really bad at what you do yeah that's it, a good point like every musician if you look hey, it's the first song I wrote if you're like hey, man song rules it's like then you have not progressed since <laughs> the first song you've ever that's written. right I think that's like everybody. You talk to anybody who's oh, yeah. made, you know, gotten somewhere on YouTube and it's like, you know, they, they look back on their videos and they all say, man, I'm embarrassed of my first videos. Okay. But but I would never, I would never, you know, delete or, or private any of my videos because I want them up there so that people can see that progression. Yeah. So they can say, wow, this guy's getting better. He's gotten better. I'm going to subscribe to see where he goes in the future. Yeah. All right. So Mr. Matt Santoro. I believe we're coming up to your stop here, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this this isn't my... Awesome. Did I just go the wrong way down a one-way street? I don't know. I think I did. This isn't my stop. No, that's all right. Well, thanks so much, though, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no We'll problem. do this again sometime. If I survive, I don't know. Sweet. Well, hey, man, I'm in wor- I might be going down a one-way street, so it might okay. be worse for me, I all think. Right. Peace. He's a nice guy. I might be going the wrong way. So, carpoolers from Corduroy Paco and his guest, Matt Santoro, I want to say thanks for watching and remember, check your mirrors.